Hey my incredible tribe and welcome to my weekly energy forecast. I'm Sarah Louise and I'll be sharing with you my intuitive insights for this up and coming week. So Chai, we know that knowledge is power and we know that the cosmic environment affects us. So when the planets move around and there's different alignments in our universe, the energy that's here on Earth um, most definitely affects us. And if we know about that, we can work with it rather than kind of being overwhelmed by it. Um, and also, as I say, we can work with it to our our best ability yeah we can jump on all the opportunities that the alignments are opening up for us so we've got a big week coming up um, and there's a lot shifting and happening in the cosmos this week so beginning of the week we start with a full moon in Pisces and yeah this is quite a sensitive quite emotional moon that we're going to have to be aware of okay um, we know that the moon affects our emotions and I feel like this one we're going to have to be super on top of our emotions so that we don't become oversensitive, over emotional, possibly moody, you know, a bit crabby because um, that's the kind of downfall of this moon. On the positive of this moon, we have a chance and an opportunity to really tune into our emotions. We can let go of things that maybe aren't serving us. Remember that full moons are all about releasing and letting go. Yeah. And there's a beautiful healing energy around this moon. So rather than get caught up in our kind of emotions and go down that slippery slide, why don't we spend the beginning of the week really focusing on what we want to let go of and also really tuning into this as I say healing energy that's around and you know using that to our advantage you know where in your life would you like to bring in some healing and um, what do you need to let go of and really practicing that you know through your daily work and um, midweek we we're changing star seasons so we're going from Virgo into Libra season and I feel like this is a really beautiful shift and Libra season wants to bring balance back into our lives so it really wants us to have a look you know work life balance and if we need to adjust anything there and also in our relationships and I'm going to come back to that in a minute because I want to talk to you a little bit more about that this week. Um, and then we have the equinox. So twice a year we have an equinox and it's the changeover of seasons. Yeah, so it's a point of equal day and equal night um, where we shift from one season into another and this point this point in time has been celebrated as a really sacred time for centuries and i really recommend that you tune in and you find out where the equinox hits you and you spend that time or as close to around that time as you can you know in some meditation and really tuning in so remember we're moving into a new season so again very much reflected from the beginning of the week as we are all through the week on letting go letting go of old cycles letting go of old ways and you know welcoming in new energy so it's a new season coming in for some that's going to be spring for some autumn and there's beautiful new energy coming in yeah so again really you know letting go of what's not serving you what you're not happy with in your life you know freeing yourself surrendering it letting it go and welcoming in this new fresh vibrant energy yeah I really recommend meditation this week that is the medicine for your soul always but most definitely this week with all these kind of shifts happening and um, so I want to go back to Libra season okay and this is going to be our focus over the next few weeks yeah so we've got these beautiful full moon equinox um, happening really helping us let go of the old draw in the new yeah and we've got Libra season so as I said Libra season is all about um, balance looking at 
where you know where things are in balance in life and I want you to have a little think this week about your relationships and the relationships you have with people yes your significant other but also most of all of your relationships because over the next six weeks that's going to be a theme okay Libra season likes us to have a look at relationships and see what's out of balance and I was thinking this morning before I was um, coming on to record this, what did I want to talk about? You know, I'm kind of a little bit over talking about the chaos of the world. You know, that's out there. We know we're practicing being in our bubbles. So how can we, you know, work on ourselves and um, and our relationships? Because relationships are a massive part of our human existence. In fact, they're everything. I believe that our whole life on earth is all about a relationship with everything you know our relationship to people places things you know our relationship to food our relationship to ourself our relationship in our love affairs our relationship to our family it's all about relationships and um i believe that there is givers and there's takers in this world yeah and i feel like it's a little bit of a default program for many you know we just you know there's some of us that just want to give and share and there's others that just want to take and we have to be really careful if we want to have harmonious relationships to have equal giving and taking and that's what this Libra season I believe is a lot about it's about coming into balance in our relationships with our giving and our taking our receiving yeah and this week, your homework is to have a little think about the relationships in your life where you may be giving more or taking more and it's not in balance. And we know because when those relationships are out of balance, we feel quite resentful. Yeah. Um, and remember, if you're a giver, the takers are always going to take. Yeah, and remember if you're a taker, you're gonna to have to you're gonna struggle a little bit with giving because your default program is, you know, take, take, take. But remember the law of polarity, the law of balance, it has to be balanced to be in order, to be in harmony. So this week, have a little think about your relationships and where you need to bring some balance back. There's no right or wrong. But just have a little look, have a little feel into where you need to bring balance back. Have an amazing week. Yeah, have a balanced week. Have a beautiful week. I love you all.